Welcome back to Sip and Ice. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look back at my previous video of Scream 6 while I was predicting the characters' outcomes. Let's get into it. Well, uh, I just recently watched the movie. Fantastic, by the way. I, uh, later on, you'll see me. I uploaded a video uh, about my uh, review. It'll be a spoiler review coming up later. By the way, I'm going to go ahead and say it now. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. We're going to see if I was correct on my tier list prediction. All right, welcome back to Sip and Eyes. And today, we're going to be going over our Scream 6 predictions. We are going to say who we think is going to be Ghostface or Red Herring. Who's going to be axed off? Who's going to survive? And who is the wild cards of the movie? First up, we got Mindy, uh, one of the twins. One of my favorite characters from Scream 5. If you're watching the trailers, it looks like she uh, she's, she's having a tough situation a couple times. Um, we see her basically go toe-to-toe -to -toe well, Mr. Ghostface on that ladder, which, you know, I don't believe it's really her on there. I think they're trying to trick us. Because, you know, they got that little movie magic going on. I just want to say, I got that shit right, dude. That's how I knew it. That movie magic, dude. It wasn't Mindy. That was on the ladder when Ghostface popped up. Rest in peace, the, the real one, though, that was on that ladder. Rest in peace. Great death scene, by the way. I'm going to just toss that out. Great death scene. I don't think that's her on that ladder, but I do think that that little trip in the, um, where they're in the, they're in the subway, they're in the train, and we see a couple Ghostface, and we don't know, you know, it looks like he may just pull up and put his hand over and stab her. Well, to me, I personally think that is a fake out. I think. Okay, so I was, I was right in the the long run, but I was wrong in the short run. So I thought it was gonna be a complete fake out. I didn't think she was able, actually gonna get stabbed there. I thought at most it was like you know like PTSD from the previous attacks, or someone pranking her, whatever it may be. But I was wrong on that end. It, she, she did get stabbed. That was an actual stabbing, but she survived it. She tainted it out. So I was right on that one. Thank God, too, because I love my Mindy girl, boy. She's such a good character. I think she's going to be suffering from some form of PTSD or something to where maybe she was just freaking out a little bit and she thought it was real, but it really wasn't. So I think it's just, it's just a fake out. And I don't think, you know, maybe she does, you know, bite it in the end. But I don't believe that was her death scene in that subway. And now we have Samara Weaving's character. I believe her name is Laura. Now this chick, she has not been shown in much of, of anything other than her in that like yellow dress in the trailer. And obviously I do believe she is done for. Boom, that is correct. I was 100% right on that one. Uh, Samara Weaving, as, as much as I love the actress, you know, I mean, come on now. Obviously, I you know, she, I think everyone knew she was going to be the opening kill. I mean, even in my poll, everyone guessed it was going to be her in the opening kill. But I, I, I do want to toss this out. This will be in my spoiler review video, so I'm not going to you know speak on it too much. But I do want to say the opening scene was fantastic, fantastic. I believe she she actually will be one of the opening kills, and I think. I think, uh, I'm not going to say who yet, but someone else in this list, I believe, will be a another opening kill. I believe this one's going to be a, kind of like Scream 3, where there's two people to exit, or Scream 2, I guess, too. Where there's uh, more than one person to, to exit in the uh, opening opening kill. So, I didn't really think about this, but every movie has had two, at least two people dying in the opening scene. Um, you know, I didn't really think about it at the time because I forgot about... My boy Steve Orth from the first movie. And then in the fourth movie, I forgot uh, about the two blonde girls. Like Marnie, I think one of, was one of their names. So, <laughs> that's just this is a little nitpick. But, I'm curious, who did I think was going to be the other opening kill? Was I right on that one? The same. Next up, we got Jack Champion's character, Ethan. And he, he's definitely a little, little suspect. I personally think, boom. Yep. Yeah, I mean, come on now, bro. Look at him. But look at him, dude. I think he's just a little too too wacky, dude. You know, I just I just feel like 
There's just something about him because we don't see him much in the trailer. And when we do see him in the trailer, he's never said a single word. So he's he's up there. I and I, I just I don't know. He has that face. He, he has that killer face. <laughs> no offense to Jack Chimney. He has that killer face. I mean, come on, bro. I knew it, bro. Just look at him, dude. Come on, man. But, I mean, you know, loved him as uh as you know. His character was amazing. I do gotta give him that. I gotta give him that. And he was he's in the movie a lot more than I suspected because in the trailer he was hardly in the thing. He didn't really even say anything either in the trailer. But you know, his character was a lot better in the actual movie. Obviously, we got old Sam here. Oh, Sam Carpenter, the old leading girl. I personally think, boom, red herring. I think she will survive though. Let me say that first. Obviously, she's going to survive. But I think the movie will play on the fact that she has the Scream 5 thing going on with her learning about, you know, Billy being her father. I had this secret. There's a darkness inside of me. It followed me here. And in the trailer, we see her do kind of like a little little psychotic face, a little, little ooh, you know, a little scary yeah. face. And I think... That's just gonna be trying to build up though. Oh my god, what if Sam turned bad? What if what if she's the, the evil one now? Completely right, bro. Come on, dude. I mean the spoiler alert again. I mean, obviously if you're watching this far, you should know that by now. But Sam was uh she was a massive red herring the entire time. They're like, you know, what if, you know, what if I I did this? What if I'm the, you know, what if this darkness overwhelms me and stuff like that? Uh, and she did survive, which I think most people kind of felt was obvious because she's supposed to be the new final girl. Pause. If you guys are enjoying the video, please consider going down and hitting that like button and subscribing for more Scream and horror content coming up. Do you want to discuss Scream and other movie related content with me and the boys? Then join the Discord using the link in the description below. You know, obviously, I think it's going to be a red herring, but I think she's going to survive. I think she's going to prevail. I think, obviously, um, she's gonna be kind of like how she was in Scream 5 where she kind of took that knife and went to town on Ryan Where she kind of you know blasted him. I think it's gonna be kind of more along the lines of that And then we got Tony Revolori's character This is <laughs> the flash flash Thompson. We got him um, I believe his name is Jason in this and the uh, same thing with, as of Laura, he has not been seen in anything, pretty much. And it's almost guaranteed that he's a goner. <laughs> and I've seen something that almost proves it too. I'm not gonna say anything in case it is an actual true spoiler. But boom, I think he is a following opening kill. Uh, I think it'll be. I think him. I think personally, my theory is I think them, they, uh, Jason and Laura. I believe they are dating. And they're talking on the phone, and then Ghostface, bam, bam, thank you, Mamsum. I believe they're both going to be axed off in the opening scene. And fun fact, if you see one of the posters where it says the McKenzie's were, you know, boom, boom, you know, they were taken care of. I have a sneaking suspicion that she might be a McKenzie. Okay, so now I want to say my theory was completely off. But I did get, Jason did call her. They were talking on the phone, so I did have that right. But I and also, I did have the fact that they both were the opening kills. So I did have that right. But they they were probably the furthest thing you can get from dating. So if you, you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean? If you know, you know, dog. Because she has a look of that Liv McKenzie chick from the, the Scream 5. So I just, Maybe, maybe that's just a little sneaky theory. That's just, or another another thing I'm thinking of is, oh, uh, her father is down here in this list. Boom, right there. That's her papa. So we'll see. Just a little little thought. And next up, we got old Kirby Reed. Oh, fan favorite. We loved her at Scream 4. Glad she's back. Kirby's going to have a lot more to do. And I personally, I th she's just going to be a wild card. But yeah, I think it'll just be too much to to bring her back from one movie, you know, after all this time, and then just to ax her off right then and there. So I think she'll make it, but I think she's gonna, gonna be a little wild card because you know, there's nothing you can really do. A lot of people think she might be Ghostface. I don't personally think she'll be Ghostface, 
But I, I can see where those people are coming from saying that she could end up being Ghostface. So, completely right on that one too. So far, you know, I'm like one, two, three, four, five, six. And yes, I was putting my finger up to the screen. Sue me, dude. I'm not the best at math. So I'm basically six for six right now. Because <laughs> Kirby was the wild card. I mean, yeah, she was a glorified red herring too, I guess, if you want to say. Uh, because if you don't know, if, uh, they in, in near the end of the movie, right in the third act, they did think she was the ghost face. She wasn't though, and she did survive, so I was right. Right on the dot, dog. Next up, an underrated character, my boy Chad. Love this dude. I personally think, boom, Survivor. Now, we do see him in the trailer as <laughs> blink and you miss it type scene, but he decks uh, Ghostface. Like, he kapows him, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he gives him that double decker in the in the throat, dog. Like, he, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, take, he takes a full, like, Conor McGregor blast to the chin. But I don't think Chad's going to die there, and I hope to God he doesn't. But <laughs> I'm, I'm very close to putting him right up here. I'm very close to it. And as, as bad as I do not want to put him there, I almost want to. Because in the trailer, we also see Tara. We see her like almost like she's like really upset about something. And it's kind of being, being hinted at that they started dating in this movie. I don't know if it's true, but like in some scenes, they're like really close up together. Okay, so. Uh, obviously, as, as of right now, I was completely right on Chad. And thank God. You know, because I know where this is fixing to go, and thank God I was wrong on my boy Chad. My favorite character from Scream 5. Thank God I was wrong on my boy Chad. Um, and it kept being hinted at, you know, about the, the relationship thing, and I was partly right. I was partly right. They didn't start in a relationship, but near the end of the film, uh, you can, you know, there, there's an entire movie. It was kind of that, like, uh, relationship trying to blossom and stuff that kept getting, you know, as... Our other girl said uh, down here, as she said, cop block. Um, <laughs> that's so that could happen to them. But eventually, in the end, they you know, you know they did it. All they they kissed. You know what I mean? So in the end, they they made it. They made it work. You know, like almost like embracing each other a little bit. So hopefully that's not you know her reacting to my boy getting axed off. But we shall see. I'm keeping him a survivor for now because I'm hoping he's gonna pull. It was her reacting to him getting technically axed off. Technically, uh, you know, I'll explain it in more detail in just a second. Hold off, because you can't. Oh, you can't really just take one of them out. Oh man, I might need to put him in rip though, because I personally think if in this movie you're gonna have to kill off one of the twins, and I don't know if they're gonna kill Mindy off because she's more of the Randy type than Chad is. They're both Meekses. They're both nephews of Randy. But let's let's be honest. Mindy is Randy. You know what I'm saying? She's the she's the film buff. She loves the movie. She's doing the the prequel, the requels, and all that. So sorry, my boy Chad. We gonna miss you, dog. All right, be my boy Chad. I'm just playing, dude. He survived, but he did take a beating. And honestly, I do not know how he survived. Uh, I was sitting there in the theater watching it, man, and. Uh, it be more of my spoiler uh, review, so be on the lookout for that. But how how he, you know, took his beating, I was like, bro, ain't no way he coming back from that. But in the back of my mind, I was like, please, man, please just let him be like, like being wheeled out again like he was in the last movie. Come on, please. Uh, but so I was wrong on him. He did survive. Thank God. My favorite character from Scream 5. Next up, Tara Carpenter, the sister of old Sammy Carpenter. She's a little more tough. She's a little more of a tough cookie, but I think she's going to survive. Now, see, Scream 7 might be a little different with her character, but I think she's going to survive this one because I don't know if they're going to take the route to kill either of the sisters yet because obviously they're trying to make it into a trilogy, and I don't know if they're going to want to ax off one of the main sisters just yet. Next up, uh, I was right on Tara. Right on the money. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. That one's that one kind of easy, though, I think. Uh, we have Annika, and a lot of people are calling her Anika. And I'm like 99% sure that's not how you're supposed to pronounce it. And if I'm wrong, sorry about it, Annika. <laughs> but uh, we see her a couple times. And I think uh, from what the trailer's been showing, she's uh, dating our girl Mindy here. And um, 
I'm sorry to say it, Hanukkah, but you was dead. You you was not coming back from that ladder scene because obviously I think she is the true person on that ladder scene. Because in, in one one uh, one of the trailers we see Annika on it, and then another one we see Mindy on it. And I think Mindy's the fake out, and I think Annika is the correct person on the ladder. Next up, we got Josh Chagall. I was correct again, <laughs> Annika. Rest in peace, big dog. Your death scene was cool as mess, though. I gotta give you that. And I really liked your character. I was kind of hoping you were gonna be in it a little more. I just because, you know, you're such a good character, you know, and you made, you made my girl Mindy happy. And I mean, that makes me happy seeing my girl Mindy happy. But, you know, rest in peace to, to a good one. Aura as David. Danny. Now, obviously, he's being portrayed, I believe, as the, the, um, the lover of Sam Carpenter up here. And as you know, the main, the main characters, uh, uh, the main characters love interest is usually right up in this category, but I don't know if they're going to go that route back to back. So I think old bro right here is, is going to survive. I think they're going to play it different this time. Just about every time the main character, whether it's Sam or Sydney had a love interest, they either were, you know, a serial killer or they died. And then it's so obviously that and then screen five was Sam. And we already know about old Ryan. So, you know, it's not, it's not, it's never good for the love interest, but I think they're going to twist it on its head a little bit. Yeah. Obviously, uh, you know, look at, you know, scream one, Billy ghost face scream two. Look at Derek. He died. Scream three. Boom. It was a little bit of a twist. It was Kincaid and he did survive. And, Obviously, you know, back then it wasn't necessarily like saying that they were together, but obviously now it is confirmed that they are together. Uh, Scream 4, I guess you could say Trevor, because Sydney didn't really have a love interest in that movie. So, uh, Trevor Sheldon, boom, dead. Uh, Scream 5, Richie, Ghostface. Scream 6, Danny, boom, right on the money. He survives, they flip it on its head. He actually was... One of the few to actually make it. Him and Kincaid are the only love interests to have made it out of this, out of this movie so far. So I think he's safe. And I think, you know what? I think he's going to be more of a red herring. The ghost face seems more military trained. When he goes up, up in that little, like, bodega, I believe is what it's called. And when he goes up in there, he he, he goes to town on those people. And then he pulls, pulls out that dude, Shoddy, and he's looking around for Sam and stuff. That's like more of a trained guy right there, like, you know, and like train guy, train female. So it could be Kirby too, but she, I don't think she, I don't think she's going to be a bad person. But this guy, you know, I think they're going to be trying to make it seem like it's him. And she's going to have, she's going to have a little trust issues with him. He's going to be a good guy though. Just trust, trust, trust. I'm glad if you guys, if you guys watch this video before the movie come out, I'm glad you trusted me, man. Because I was right on the dollar bill with that one, dude. Good guy, Danny. The old uh, other girl, I can't remember her name right now, uh, but I believe, boom, she is done in. And if Laura is not the daughter of Germont Moroni's character, the, the detective or whatever, I believe that she will be the uh, daughter of him. And from one of his interviews, he kind of let it slip that he gets into the investigation because one of his daughters gets, you know, she gets... You know, silence, as we say. So, all right. Her name was Quinn, by the way. Um, and I was, I mean, she did die in the end, but she should have been right, right up here. <laughs> she was the last person I thought was going to be Ghostface, to be honest. So I admit that. I will admit that. I'll take that on the chin. You know what I mean? Um, I did not think she was going to be Ghostface. She was hardly shown to, but I guess, uh, you know, it says a lot about, you know, him. <laughs> but she was Ghostface. Was not expecting that. I believe, no matter what, she's pretty much done it. Because we hardly see her in any of the trailers or anything. Gail? Oh, I mean, she OG. She OG. You can't take her out in this one because, obviously, I think Sydney will come back for the seventh movie. But in case she doesn't, you need that last living legacy character to show up. And if Gail dies in this one and Cindy doesn't show up, then it's, there's no legacy characters really left. I mean, I guess other than Kirby, but she's only a legacy character up for two movies at this point. Uh, so I think Gail will survive. I think she'll pull one out. Yep. 
Run on the dollar bill. She about didn't though. I, I, for a second there, I thought they were really gonna, you know, take her out. Uh, but she did though. I mean, it, you know, after her scene in the apartment, you know, where we think she she might have died. Oh no! Uh, it, was, it was, you know, confirmed that she was in the hospital. So, you know, good on her. I'm glad she didn't die. I'd be okay. You know, no offense to her. If she wants to go out in the seventh movie, you know, by all means, you know what I mean? Because Dewey might be lonely up there in heaven, dog. Dog, good guy, dude, do, do, do job, dude. I love him. Dermot Moroni, I believe he will also survive. He is a good guy. He's a detective. I think he'll survive. I think they'll do a little twist. Almost do like kind of like the, the Detective Kincaid strap with him. Like, I think he's going to survive. There was a guy on here that I forgot to put on here. It was so I was wrong about... Dermot Moroni. I thought, I, mean, I was thinking they might try to make him like almost like a, the Dewey, uh, uh, a new Dewey, basically. Basically a new cop that will be helping our group out. Nope, wrong. Whoop, boom, right there. Uh, watch my Scream 6 uh, review video when that comes out and I will be talking about that because this is the first time we ever had three ghost faces. Boom, boom, and boom. That's interesting. You know, I'll go more in depth about that soon and their motive, and if I like their motive or not. It was uh, Henry Zerny's character? He uh, he is supposed to be a professor at the the college that they go to, or he, I could even personally see him being the therapist that Sam goes to because we see in the trailer Sam is, you know, going to see a therapist. But I believe Henry Zerny will be almost the mastermind of this ghost face. So boom, just. You know, Henry's journey, boop, we'll go right there. Well, <laughs> wrong on that one. <laughs> I just kind of figured, but I was completely wrong. He, uh, he was just a good guy. You know, I mean, he, I didn't like how he was trying to throw accusations at my girl Sam, though. He, you know, in the long run, he was just, you know, like a doctor. And he was just doing his thing. And he was at the wrong place at the wrong time. And he... R.I.P. Boy, R.I.P. So, I think Henry Zerny and Jack Champion will be our two killers for this movie. I think Jack Champion is going to be almost kind of like the Stu situation where he gets kind of like pressured into it. So these are my predictions for Scream 6. All right, guys. That was me reviewing my predictions. I was pretty close. I only got like four wrong. I got basically the Ghostface situation wrong. He should have been down and ripped. Uh, she should have been up in Ghostface, and he should have been up in Ghostface. Other than that, I was, you know, right on the money, and to be honest, I, I was not thinking I was going to be this accurate, but I'm, I'm glad I was, because, you know, that means I should just go to go to Vegas at this point, I think. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please consider going down and hitting that like button and subscribing for more content just like this coming up in the future. But with all that being said, I'm, I'm glad you, you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Because let's face it, baby, these days, you gotta have a sequel.